Alrighty guys, hey, how's it going tonight? We are playing some Car Simulator 2021. A little different than some we usually play. Uh, it's gonna be a little different than we usually do. Typically we are all about that real life car stuff, right? Well, it is freaking cold outside, right? We, we've had a bunch of, of snow and a bunch of crazy over the last little while. So we're sitting inside and we are gonna try this out. Now I've heard that this is like the best game for somebody that's interested in cars. So we're gonna put that to the test. Uh, we're, we're gonna see how this game actually stacks up. So let's go ahead, hop into it and see what we got. Now we do have a garage set up. We've got money in the bank. We've got all the skills, stuff like that, just so we can kind of get going. Um, but the shop is starting fresh. So just kind of keep that in mind. What up BNR, what up Dakotas? So we are going to go ahead and jump right into this. So I have been tossing around a bunch of ideas lately about what my plan is for the 91. I've got, I don't know, man, I, I've got like five different builds that I want to do with that car. And I think we're going to try to essentially achieve all of them. So the first thing that we're going to try to do is I think we're going to try to go ahead and set up the uh, the Camaro on everything stock. I mean, I'm talking stock heads, stock cam, um, and stock intake, other than the runners. Uh, we're gonna see what we make for power and see what we make for track times. So we've got a bunch of really cool content coming as far as actual car content goes. But so as far as right now, we're gonna hang out, play some games and chill. Um, so question is, do we go to a auction or a junkyard? Um, the auctions do have salvage auctions as well. Uh, the junkyard is kind of a uh, maybe find something cool. Now this game does have a bunch of cars that aren't Camaros and GTOs, but they're like as close as they possibly could be. So that's gonna be the thing. Let's head to that junkyard. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. That's where I, I tend to start out most of my day to day anyway. Getting that junkyard and seeing what's going on over there. Um. But yeah, I've got a bunch of plans for the Camaro. So we've got 83 heads on it right now. Um, I've got, I, we could throw some 113s on it. And that would be aluminum. And I think we can make pretty good gains. But the biggest thing there is going to be, I need to make sure that I've got bigger valves, right? That That's kind of the, the big thing is I want some big size valves. So that's like a charger. Now, what we're looking for is something classic, right? Something in that, GTO, Firebird, Camaro. Hey, ask and you shall receive. This thing is absolutely torched. It's got an engine in it. So, I mean, there is that. I mean, there is that. Look here, Yander. You know we are some junkyard dogs. So I think, I think this is a car that we might end up going with. A big block Mopar. Yeah, that's the thing too, right? So what's funny is a lot of these games, they get so many things right, and then you've got orange blocks in your Pontiacs. Um, you've got just a bunch of weird craziness. And the sounds, the engine sounds usually are freaking terrible. Uh, Camino, that's an option. No, I don't hate me a Camino. Uh, looks like a single plane already on it. With a Ford engine? Distributor in the front? <laughs> so it's a, oh, what is that, a Ranchero? Is that what that would be then? If it's Ford styling? I'm not seeing much for bodies other than that. The Ranchero, whatever the heck that thing is. Hey, how do you like that? Uh, how do you like your 79? Is it a G-body? No, I don't hate the idea of a G-body drag car either. That's a straight six. That's not the way. Seventy four Trans Am, dude. I have been really enjoying all the Pontiac lovers coming through and and talking about their cars. It's it's cool to see what everybody ends up with. I noticed the Pontiac guys; they are not afraid to be different. Now they'll 
obviously build, you know, 400 or something like that. But what is this? Looks like an A body. Oh, it's a it's a Mopar. All right, let's go ahead. I don't know why held for B body Mopar. That was my thought. Seven liter into it from the first gen. Jesus, chimney. Yeah, I, I like the idea of where did that Pontiac go? I like the idea of something like a an LQ9, honestly. Dude, yeah, I, I made the mistake of looking at my Camaro and what I've got into it, and I wish I wouldn't have. So basically, a bunch of this car is torched. The rear window needs new seats. So basically, we're going to start from scratch with this thing. I'm cool with that. Um, what do you want for it? Nine grand. Yikes. All right, well, I guess it is what it is. It's our, it's our first uh, first car in the garage. So let's head back to Le Garage. So what have you got done to it? I guess that's the question, right? Is all the suspension goodies, I'd assume, a bunch of engine parts. Uh, what all you got into it? So especially with those those second gens, man, it's so easy to to throw in on like a what is it over the, for them the the full suspension kit. I've got it set up in my or had it set up in my car before I sold it. This car's probably sitting outside. Yeah, up on blocks like they like they should be. So we're gonna send this car first over to the wash. Because who wants to deal with that nonsense? So let's head over here. This is interior. You know what? We're going to wash the outside first. Oh, look at those suds. Look at those. Oh, and, and water on the ground. Oh. Um, so. <laughs> it's so rusty. The T-tops have rust. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Clean that interior. Hey, at least the front bumper's got paint on it. There is that. All right, let's... Uh, now we can take this over into the shop. Go around to the car lift. Whole lot of rust. Yeah, it'll buff out. Yeah, it's fine. So what's funny is how rusty this car is. Right? So let's go ahead. We'll grab the welder. We'll throw that to a car lift, and we're going to use that welder. Oh, no, use the welder. $1,500. Okay, so that fixes a bunch of the frame stuff. Interesting. Not what I expected <laughs> out of a welder, but okay. The, the body looks straight now, at least. that It's got gorgeous paint in some spots after using a welder, because that's how that totally works. All right, let's uh, be adults and move that welder back. Do stuff as cheap as possible. 45 headers, cam, intake, a little bit of port job, 10-inch uh, Pontiac Rally. Ooh, 2550, so that's the way to go. 373 gears, That's dude, that's pretty solid. Yeah, that's like the way to do it. Should have left the barn dirt. Yeah, I mean, but look at it, right? It's got good paint right about here. <laughs> yeah, black magic, dude. It's, uh, you know. We're not using interns around here. All right, so let's go ahead and I think what I want to do first is we'll disassemble this car because I don't know any other way. Even if a car runs, it gets torn apart. Hey, I've got a headlight. Um, license plate needs to come off. Trunk can come off. I've got a tail light. All right. Outsourcing this fine. Yeah, absolutely. So did buy a new set of tubular control. Yeah, the tubular control arms are actually really huge. They made the car perform significantly better. Um, I had the stamp set originally, and after going to anything that's this tubular, it's like crazy. The traction bars made a huge difference too. Um, sniper EFI, solid fuel pump, racing style seats, new shaker mount for the scoop. And you are 
rocking and rolling. 4,500 honestly isn't that bad for a Pontiac build. Um, I mean, I mean that's, that's pretty solid, if we're honest. All right, we'll remove this hood. Uh, oh, okay, I guess my phone is on vibrate on my desk. That scared the absolute crap out of me. Interior parts, interior disassemble. We'll go ahead and remove these parts. Um, steering wheel. Now, I guess the, the curiosity is once we start diving into this game, how close are things to be? Like, the suspension geometry is looks fairly right, actually. Yeah, it looks fairly right. Um, front. Looks close, but not quite. That's not quite how the second gens operate. Let's just start missing parts, I guess. It's like this top shirt right here should be connected to a control arm. goes up here to some alignment, you know, tabs. Yeah, the tube control arms for me made it a significantly better front end feel. I think it was, there was flex in those original stamped pieces, I think. Um, it could be just straight up placebo because I did um, shocks, springs, and everything suspension was all at the same time too. So that could be part of it is we could have had those changes all at the same time. And that's just like, whoa. Uh, but you can actually can feel the flex in the original arms on the bench. So there is that. We're going to see them retailing. Yeah, and that's the thing too, right, is I've got engines sitting at the garage that I could build. Um, it's just a matter of what do I want to do? Do I want to build them for myself? Because like I feel like I can make more money putting that stuff together and selling it as an engine, but I'd rather put it into a car because I would rather, you know, work on cars. Take this tire off. Spray that with some blaster. Oh, oh, oh dude, if they came out like that, being blasted for like two seconds, absolutely. Yeah, and, and the unfortunately, the health issue thing is getting more and more common with the old cars. You know, because let's be honest, a lot of the guys that are buying the old cars originally are older guys, you know. Ooh, it's not, it doesn't really matter. I'm taking them off, but. All right. So at this point, let's take these brake drums off and shoes. That cylinder. Remove this axle. These must be rusted on. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Nice little touch with the, the twisting the, the spray. Get the torch, dude. So honestly, I've got a bunch of extra tools here. I've got compression tester, OBDD, OBD, OBD scanner. Will not work on older vehicles. That's actually a pretty solid thing. Uh, drain tool, fuel pressure test, tire tread tester. Tested. And a multimeter. So this game must have some kind of depth to it if it's got all of those elements. I mean, personally, if this is me, I would do all this on a bench. Just drop the entire rear end, rebuild it on a bench, and then throw it back together. All right. That plate, I don't think, is held in. Oh, it's got one U-bolt. That's safe. That is completely safe. It's fine. Leaf spring plate. Uh, leaf plate's got to come off for that leaf spring. There should be two bushings. God, if they came out after one spray of some PB blaster, mechanics wouldn't cuss. That's all I'm saying. All right. Now we can go ahead and disassemble the other side. Bring plate and come off. That didn't, didn't even have... Oh, this has got no bushings in it either. Solid. All right. We can go ahead and drop that entire rear end. Um, and then we can go ahead and disassemble that front end as well. And then we've got a body. Bearings. This is missing a freaking nut on the back side of that. Okay. Um, the steering knuckle is absolutely torched. This end link's got to come off.
Um, coilovers? Okay. I, I, I don't think the original 78 Firebird came with coilovers, but, you know. What do I know? Oh, my goodness. Everything's got to be sprayed. This car is so rusty. It's like working on Michigan cars. It's ridiculous. All right. And now that should, I mean, already come off. Since it's not touching anything. So, so if I drop that entire thing, does the engine just fall out? I don't think it does. Brake pads. Oh my gosh, brake pads on this side. That bearing got to come out. Now we can get the hub. Oh, this hub only has three at the try. Okay, that makes more sense. The cover, nobody puts those on ever. You think a steal on my car, though? Except for me to pay the going price or something? Yeah, dude. And it's one of those things where, like, you don't make money. Like, you're going to lose money on a car every time, right? Until you get lucky enough to where it's worth something classic-wise. Or it's extremely modified in a way that is desirable to a lot of people. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll check out your car, dude. Cause you got me curious about it. Need to figure out. I mean, I've got Facebook and whatnot, but I'd like to figure out a more elegant way for everybody to share their cars. Because, like, yeah, YouTube is just the community itself is so much better than the Facebook groups. Okay, so this engine is literally just floating. So, can, am I gonna be able to drop this with this car? This engine still on? No, I gotta take the engine out, right? I have to. There's no way to let that happen. All right, so let's drop this. Where's my engine crane? There's the shop crane. Right here. We'll go ahead and move that to one. Um, use. Pull out. First remove gearbox. Son of a biscuit. I don't think... Maybe a couple times I, I've taken an engine out without taking the transmission out first. Okay. All right. Now the clutch release bearing, the clutch plate. What up, Testa? Yeah, it's funny the amount of things that they get right and the things they get wrong. Like, it's the, it's the simplest little thing. Oh, yeah. Definitely not a TH350. Maybe like a, like a Muncie? Crankshaft. That's no good. <laughs> I'm not sure this car, this engine was actually going to be usable. Like, I could probably maybe recondition the block. Um, the tri power is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and drop this back down. Caterpillar yellow. Yeah, and this game is available on, I think it's only PC. Um, and it's not overly expensive. It's on sale constantly. All right, so now under car. Okay, now I can take that out. We can drop that. And then we can start kind of going back and reconditioning parts on the table. And what am I missing? Oh, we got to go to each bushing first. Ah, okay. And, uh, dude, we can look at that too. Um, we can look at doing it a full engine swap. Because if we're going to build this for racing, we want to have the best chance, right? There's one bushing. There was one bushing in that entire setup. Okay, so then I guess the question becomes... Where the heck is my engine? <laughs> okay, here's an engine stand. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's hit the computer and see what, what they got. So if we go in here and we go to... Car parts. Engine. Block. Mayhaps? Okay.
That's yeah, obviously my backpack. I, why wouldn't it be back there? I mean, just tuck it in your pocket. Why is this one just a V8? What's the single overhead cam? Yeah, let's grab that. Um, we're going to throw that on the right here, though. I think that's the one that we're after. Heart mount. Nope, that's not the one we're after. All right, they do they do have some funkiness with this. Great new engine. V8. I mean, is it this one? Are we gonna go unnecessary parts? I don't know. Take install engine from stand. Okay. V8 carb? Why is the two carb and the single carb a separate block if that's the case? Inventory. Engine block V8. Okay, cool. Awesome. Great. Thanks. Okay. Here's what we're doing. Let's do it this way. We're going to set up the engine with the engine stand. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the SS because why not swap a Chevy engine into a Pontiac? Because that just seems blasphemous in itself. Um, is that an option? V8. No. V8. Engine block. You know what? We got money to blow. I'm not fighting this. Little red cam. We have that one a single over cam. Okay. Yeah, that was my other thought too. Was it doesn't look at all like a SS like why? I think that feels less blasphemous. And I don't know why. Dual overcam V8? Supercharged? I guess that's the question. Do we go naturally aspirated or do we go boost? Let's start with the basic engine build just so we can get, get our feet wet. Okay, click that click. Oh, good lord, there's an engine on the block on the stand. Okay, progress. No, Jenner, you're right. Always boost. The controls are a little clunky. A little clunky. A lot of clunky. Two carb. V8 supercharged because we have no common sense. Um, That valley pan, though? That's kind of slick. All right, so let's head over to the repair table. Start repairing. What do we got to do here? Oh, it's a mini game. Let's go. All right, we'll get one more. Okay, now she'll repair that hood. And now we got a fresh hood. 
Did that do both? I think it did both. Um, repair table body, we're good there. Parts. All right, let's get that suspension cross member back in. Um, then we can kind of start mocking up engine stuff. Uh, maybe transmission. I don't know if we can swap trans on that either. All right. Okay, so now I'm on the steering rack. That's what happened. F. No. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, I think I need bushings too, yeah. Um, rubber bushings. Can I get poly bushings? Is that an option? Let's go home. Tuning shop, maybe? Body. Interiors, gearbox. Wings? No. Okay, so it must be just those rubber bushings and this. Hope for poly, but you know, you, you can't ask for everything. Well, you can ask, but you're not going to get it. All right, so assembly mode. Um, gotta be suspension. How do? There it is. Part mount. Cross member. 100%. Look at that gorgeous thing. Not rusted at all. Rubber bushing, we've got new rubber bushings to throw in. And, you know, you do actually got to go through and hit each one, which is kind of cool. You know, at least keeps you fairly engaged in that way. Now, steering rack, I think I killed mine. All right, I don't think I need motor mounts actually. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop this car. Uh, where's that crane at? I'm losing it, where's the crane? There it is. Grab that crane, we'll move that over to left one. Um, can I just throw this? I just throw this. I just want to just, I just want to. Okay. Oh, dude. And that's the thing too, right? Is you can stunk some time into this game from what I'm hearing. Sunk? Sink? You, you know what I mean? Wait. Okay. So the supercharger engine fits. Okay. So we can drop in, we can engine swap these. That's interesting. All right, so let's pull this engine. We'll get this engine built, and we'll uh, we'll stab that thing in. Sweet. So ideally, we can end up building a drag car. Um, this game does have a drag add-on, which I snagged. You don't have necessary parts. What do you mean I have necessary parts? What do you mean? Oh my goodness. Get it. Delete. So it's not there. It's not there. Ah, screw it, we'll buy another one. It's only money. F. Okay.
No, uh, V8 overhead. Why? V8 overhead. This one? And as we do this more and more too, it'll be uh, a little more fluid too. There we go, okay. All right. So, we need. Rank and all that good stuff. Oh, dude, and I'm curious to, yeah, I'm, if we can do some stuff like that, like, I'd like to throw in a crazy, like, Honda style engine into something big V8 and just watch it not have power. What we can do too is go add list, add list, add list, rank. Fuel filter. All right, so we can start buying this stuff. We can open the shopping list. Crank shaft. Grab one. Grab one. We'll kind of get this thing put together and then we'll go back through and figure out what we can do to upgrade stuff. So I guess there's tuning. And like, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that I guess you can do alignments. Okay, well, we're not gonna stick a stock cam in though. That's, I, I can't do that. How do I? This game. Cam shaft. Cam shaft. A V8. I think that one's gonna fit. Click first and then click that one, okay. All right, so a little lumpier cam. Got our crank put in. Did I get any of that kind of stuff yet? I don't think I did. And we got a distributor, no fuel filter. Our string pump can go on though. We'll just throw that on there. Let's give this a rotation. And let's go ahead and throw together our shopping list. Yeah, as, as long as you spend your life savings, it will keep up with the a car or two. And that's, that's what I always go for. As long as I can compete with, you know, lawnmowers. I'm happy. I'm gonna lose the job here soon. Dude, I've been watching so much of Tony Angelo lately, and his content is just so incredibly good. It's like not even fair. Oh, fuel filter? Yup. Yeah, my buddy does lawnmower drag racing. And it's some of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like, the dude is so serious about it. But I get it. Like, I mean, it's it's also not an, a cheap hobby. Oh, dude. And, the, and that... His Firebird put down some insane numbers with a bunch of issues. You know, and that's the thing, too. Is like, yeah... You know, it didn't make the power he wanted to on, on first go. But... When they figured out that, oh, dude, it's it's down a cylinder. Like, holy cow, what have you built, dude? Did I not buy those? Pretty sure about those. I don't need crank. Don't need oil filter. Need alternator. Um, do I need the fuel filter still? I think I got that. Yep, I got that. Cam gear's on. Flywheel is on. Friction coil. Uh, distributor needs to be built in. So what do you think about the paint job on that Firebird? I, I hate that I don't hate it. 
That's honestly my my thought on it. Is I hate that I don't hate the fireworks. That bright ass orange with the blue paint is crazy. I mean, that's kind of the whole point too, right? All right, let's go ahead and make a purchase. Alternator. No. Okay, can I get better? I can. Give me eight. As the good Lord intended. Deuce and a quarter. Oh, dude, they've built some really cool stuff over there. They, I saw a uh, lifted Fiero that they'd worked on. And that really, oh, I need rings. I need rings. Oh, crap. I'm not even sure which one. Well, let's buy them all. I feel like I'm playing with uh, Richard Rollins' bank account right now. That's kind of how the shop's being ran. Yeah, and the I played 2018 for quite a while, and then kind of took a long break. Yeah, I thought that's what I thought, too, is you can get performance rings. But I don't see that as an option anymore, I guess. Nah, I don't know. Oh, I'm too busy buying all the piston stuff to do anything else. Rings. You can pick up New York. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, I finally went ahead and, and did the uh, Motor Trend Plus again, and it's been, or Motor Trend On Demand, or we're calling it nowadays, it has been a problem. It's just the content's so good. Yeah, yep, yeah, mid, like, 320, 330, something like that. Uh, rod cap. Engine heads instead of cylinder heads. All right, well, whatever you name it, what you want, I guess. Um, alternator performs alternator absolutely. Rod caps, rod caps, power steering pump, low friction. I would assume. Yeah, pretty sure I just put one on there, but you know. Two heads. So let's clear that. Shopping list out here in a second, too. Okay, this is not at all correct, but all right. I uh, started watching, what is uh, the Wisconsin guy? Um, uh, Roadworthy Rescue. His show is really good. He did a really, really good job with that. Um, finished the Mustang episode, and I finished the Buick or Chevy, the old Chevy. Vice grip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've been really impressed with this content. Like, everybody over at Motor Trend and Haggerty both have been putting out some insanely good content lately. And it's good to see car guys getting some actual love lately and not just cheap production. Like, East, I was talking to Janitor uh, a couple of days ago, maybe yesterday even, and we are talking about how the quality of content put out by some large places just doesn't cut it when you've got guys like Tony, you know, putting out just the best car content, period, by himself. And Finnegan, you know, his content is crazy good. But I mean, these guys have got a crap ton of experience, too. And that definitely helps. But I will say, I, I so... Took a break from LSX Hunter for a while um, and spent a bunch of time filming for other people. So I spent some time filming with a bunch of guys that do lifted trucks and truck manufacturing. So I learned a ton in a very, very short amount of time. So I'm really curious to see what I end up with once I get back into the garage. And we're going to throw some like gaming stuff in once a week just to kind of 
pull people in from the gaming sphere into the actual engine building side. Because um, that's that's more where my heart lays, is I love engine building. That's that's my thing. I, mean, I feel like I have the most fun doing that. So if I can bring guys over that don't have the experience, it should be a good time. So Haggerty itself is phenomenal. Motor Trend itself is phenomenal. Um, I think it's Stay Tuned is Tony's. Um, I watch a lot of Vice Grip, watch a lot of, oh God, what is that guy's name? That totally escapes me. Uh, VinWiki. Watch a lot of VinWiki, but they're, they're mainly stuff that's like supercars. DeBoss is really good. I watched all of his stuff when I was doing my GTOs. Um, there's a guy that lives about half an hour from me, a driveway engineer. His stuff is rugged, but at the same point, like he's building all of his crap in his driveway, like literally in his yard. Um, and he does a, a really good job of making stuff actually work good, decent filming. Um, you know, we could all be better, but, but he's putting it to it, man. And, and that's in my mind, the biggest thing is guys putting the content out, learning how to do it better and doing it better. And he's on that path. Yeah, I think the differential plays into it too, doesn't it? Like there's a completely different rating for those on some of these. Rod caps. I have rod caps. I put the rod caps on. I need mains. Is that what it was? Okay, crankshaft. All right. I guess we can call it that. There are probably three on this engine. Yeah, DD Speed Shop's pretty good. Honestly, we're in a pretty good time for car content right now. Uh, there's been a lot of guys that have come out of the woodwork lately that have been phenomenal. Who's the one over in, Leslie, like Finland or Sweden? That's got a bunch of Pontiacs. Uh, he does some great stuff. I'm going to look it up. course doesn't pop up right away but yeah there's there's a guy over in sweden that uh or finland one of the two it was 350 pontiac that i found him on forever ago oh wow they're all my videos that's kind of funny i, I apologize for that i don't know but you know what let's uh let's set us hands in racing it is Hanson Racing. You are correct. Hanson is the man um, that I'm thinking of. We know what we might do. We might go ahead and just do a full-on video of, like, the best car content on YouTube and see what we end up with. So I feel like there's a bunch of channels that I don't know that you guys probably know and you guys probably watch on a regular basis. And I feel like if I can discover some new people, I will 100% watch and get engrossed. And it will be a problem. Two intake manifolds. I need a bunch of push rods and rocker arms. Um, oil pan. Cletus. My only issue with Cletus is, yeah, the stuff's entertaining. But it's just, there's something about it that I just don't care for. And I think it's because he's got the money to do stuff, I guess. And that's me being salty, probably. I just, I really enjoy watching guys that don't have the cash build stuff by hand. Like, there's just something special about that. Like, I mean, I kind of sound whiny, you know, saying that, but at the same point, like, just... It's just kind of how I am. Like, I mean, I could go buy a Dart 400 block. I could, you know, go do all that rigmarole for the Camaro. I just don't want to go that route. 
Because then it's like the content's done, too, you know what I mean? Like, we built a 500 horsepower, 400, and then we're adding turbo on it. All right, that car's done, and content's over with, and, like, I'd much rather... Vizard is a different breed, though. I've got, I think, one more 400 um, that is completely tore down. And I'm not sure what my plan is with that. I've got a couple of 350s. But I'm getting to the point where I'm probably going to have a 400 at this point. Or maybe even trade for some small block heads, mayhaps. I would probably be really interested in trading for small black heads, honestly. Not quite sure what I want. Hey, how'd you, what'd you end up doing with it? Uh, super Charger. Game of year push rods. Already bought those. No performance oil pan. Super Charger. Yeah, I'm looking for, so I, I want 180cc-ish aluminum heads. It's going on TPI. Um, no matter what they are, I'm going to port and polish them. But I would like 113s would be ideal, like from the Alpha uh, L98. Oh, so you went nuts. Good grief, dude. Oh, yeah, that's that's what sucks, too, is dealing with all the machining and stuff like that if you have to. I used to have machine shops everywhere in my area, but, of course, they all shut down during that, like, COVID time, like, just after that. kind of sucks. Like, I lost all my machine shops. Yeah, and that's the thing, too, being ours, is I'd, I mean, obviously, money is cool, but, like, I'd rather trade for parts that I can use rather than have the money to sit and buy random garbage, if that makes sense. Like, then I have to use those parts, right? I'm not trading for money. I'm trading for something to, to build something else with. And that's, I think, the way that I want to go more in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for, uh, for 113 small black heads off an L98, like a C4 Corvette. All right, so carburetor. So I've got that 350 Pontiac, too, just sitting there. The 400, 420 at my Trans Am. Dude, that'd probably be really fun. Um, the 428, I think it's like the perfect compromise. Dude, so I paid $325 for my running Pontiac 350 that I put into the Firebird and, and got rid of that car. Um, I guess that didn't go so well. Guy just didn't. I don't know. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. But that car is, I guess, essentially scrapped at this point. It's 16. Can I get rockers from the performance shop. Or should I just wait so I don't buy the wrong thing? I didn't buy car raider, so I want to buy the performance car raider. Carburetor. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, and I, and I did that, what was it, like, last year, year before last? Like, and the video's up. But we're going to a point now where even, like, the 320, which I've got 326 as well, sitting torn apart, uh, that I want to do a, a potential turbo on. But, uh, yeah, dude, the Pontiac parts just went through the roof lately, and I, and I don't quite get why. Like, I love my Pontiacs, don't get me wrong. But there's enough new stock out there still of the stuff that's important that I'm not that worried about it, I guess. Uh, number 13 heads. What? Pull up my head chart real quick. What year are those? I think they're automatic heads, right? Like 70? Is 
Da, 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 da. The benefit of having all my charts set aside. Uh, 70. Wow, I hate that I was that close. So they are 70 Pontiac 400. Uh, looks like Grand Prix heads. Uh, 211, 77, 72. Yeah, oh, dude, those are great heads. So people are like really coveting the 16s, right? Uh, the 16s are still a 196, 166. I think those 13 heads, honestly, are probably phenomenal. Probably phenomenal. Um, they've got the big valves, and they've got a 72cc chamber, um, according to my notes. So that should be a really good way to go. All right, so we've got the supercharger. We've got the intake on. Um, oil pans on. We'll drop these in on this one. That's just going to fall right out. Even though I know it's a game, it's going to make me nervous. I don't like that. Yeah, I would, uh, I'd throw those on a 400. I mean, it might be a little high compression with flat tops, but honestly, I think everybody with a 9.5-ish to 1 and higher should just go 85. But that's me being, you know, kind of elitist in a lot of that wakes. I, I think the 85 is just the future. I mean, it really is. Let's do timing chain. We're getting close. We're getting close. Watch plate. Check tune up shop first. We have our push rods in. We need two carburetors. We need, we need, they don't want rocker arms. They don't want timing chain. Fancy spark plugs, though. And a fancy clutch plate, too. Look at us. Ooh, and a red rotor. That, that's where the power comes from. That red rotor. All right, that's that's a pretty attractive looking carburetor. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys have checked out the uh, the Summit carbs, but the uh, the refurb units, honestly, I'm really impressed with them. And for the price, I I can't find a reason to complain. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that, that, uh, oh, wow, too zoomed in. That, uh, driveway engineer makes his own biodiesel. And I guess it works really well in his trucks. No chrome, it's gonna be slow. I mean, there's supercharged chrome, polished. Cap. Nothing for that chain, so we can go ahead and go back to the regular old parts store, head back down to the auto zone. Um, rotors in, spark plugs are in. Need a cap. Did I buy that clutch plate? I'm pretty sure I did. Now their clutch plate is torched, good lord. Yeah, I keep forgetting about eBay for parts, honestly. I mean, I should look more often. I sell a lot of parts on eBay. And, and I see a lot of guys going to those those Holly 750 double pumpers. Um, I, dude, I just can't quite justify making that jump for most of the stuff that I do. Um, a lot of stuff that I build is strictly for, for street use. And I should look at eBay more often. I mean, I really should. It's such a good resource. You can find some really unique stuff on there. 5% gain from... Okay. Nope, I already have that. 
And wires too. Good grief. Yeah, awfully needy. Rocker arms. Those filters, I bought two of those. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Pressure plate. I'm going to buy a new pressure plate. Performance one there too. Uh, they're not yellow, so what is it? Wait a minute. I almost bought eight. You only come in a kit. And it's one of those things too where like ignition stuff, I'd almost rather overbuild ignition stuff just like so I have it, you know? I mean, not that I, I'm going to spend my engines out to 7,000 RPM all the time, but it's nice to know that it's going to be safe if I do decide to do that. Yeah, and, and I hear that a lot, too, is guys love those things. I've become such an EFI convert, though, in a lot of ways. I just kind of space out, unfortunately, with a lot of the carburetor stuff. I, mean, I can rebuild Q jets and whatnot. I can rebuild metal brocks and all that stuff. Like it's just hollies. Something about the EFI stuff, man. And I want to try to figure out a way to get a long runner intake on a Pontiac. I mean, the double pumper should have much better fuel distribution. Um, throughout the entire range, which I think is going to be the biggest benefit. You know, that's like the, the biggest thing is it's going to be consistent more often. And cross ram is like the option, right? I haven't really seen anything other than cross ram. But good luck finding one. Oh, it didn't lash. Uh. What's your lash, homie? Yeah, I've been looking at cross rams. I've been looking at tu tu tunnel rams, too, though. Just If, if I'm going to go carburetor, I'm usually going to go single plane. And I'm just going to throw as much fuel into the cylinder as much like, as possible. That's... I mean, if I'm not going for fuel economy like a cruiser, why not just make the thing idle at, you know, 1,200 RPM because it won't actually sit still at a reasonable speed? Yeah, and that's... Yeah, I mean, I've had great luck with the, the Summit stuff, and they kind of just worked. Um, and I've dealt with a little bit of the Edelbrock stuff, rebuilt a couple, but... I don't know, man. Honestly, the double pumper probably is, like, the most consistent way to go. It's, it's going to be the safest. The air fuel is going to be the best, potentially, throughout the entire range. Like, there's a ton of benefits to having that setup, for sure. I need to go ahead and go, can I go back to the tune-up shop? No, let's hope for fancy head covers. Valve covers, as, you know, normal people call them. Um, is there anything else that I need? We're getting close, boys. We're getting close. I throw that timing cover on and all that stuff yet. I should have done that before I started bolting everything else on. You know, honestly, why doesn't it make me do that before I put the oil paint on? That's just blast. Oh, timing cover. That was that kind of timing cover. It's like an LS timing cover.
Yeah, and I guess the idol is probably, you're right, probably is significantly better because of that. Yeah, I mean, I really can't think of a reason why you wouldn't run double over on the street. Like, it's probably totally fine, if not actually preferred for a lot of people. A lot of guys just know those inside and out, too, and that's, like, a huge part of it. Oh, shoot. Can I get a better... Okay, it's over an underdrive pulley or something like that, but I guess not. Oh, man, the only people told me my underdrive pulley would be terrible for daily driving on the Camaro. No idea. I love the underdrive pulley. It's such a big difference in the car. Grabbed that. Dang it. Hold up. Are you guys seeing this? Is that supercharger? being spun by the water pump. Alrighty then. Yeah, and that's the thing too, is <sighs> demon no man. Demon exists, you know, and like, I know everybody goes Holly. I'm typically an oddball in a lot of ways when it comes to building engines. I, I don't tend to do things <laughs> how most guys do them just because I feel like being different and fun and unique. Which usually ends up being a giant pain in the butt because, you know, there's a reason why guys do the same thing all the time. So that's why I decided to film stuff too is like, I do a lot of unique, weird stuff, so why not? Yeah. He... So you're going to use the crank to turn the alternator, and... Okay, all right, all right, okay. It's fine. Is there any teeth on that? No, there's no teeth on it either. Solid. You would think there would be some insane teeth on those, I guess, if you're going to do that, but okay. All right. I think. I think we're built. I mean, ignition coil is not connected to anything, but all right. All right. So this. What we ended up with. New tech. Yeah, it's like the uh, the old Bluetooth drive shafts. Take engine off stand. I'm a, it's like my actual shop. At least it's cranked freaking constantly in my actual shop, too. All right. You look at that. Um, I need a seat. I need a car seat. Um, interior setup. Can I get? Wish it told me what was compatible with the car I have at the lift. I guess that would be like the nice thing. Let's just throw a seat in, I guess. I don't know, man. Race seat because race seat.
Oh, dude, and that's like working and filming at some of the places that are doing SEMA builds. I couldn't imagine being proud of some of these builds. Like, I really couldn't. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to throw that hunk of junk back in, though. Oh, <laughs> you know what we forgot? <laughs> Oil <laughs> and fluids. It's fine. We, we don't need cooling. We don't need anything. We just wanna, I just want to start the engine. I want it to run. Nope, nope. Engine. Will fill. We're about to be in for a real bad time there. Especially on a, a supercharged engine. Uh, power steering reservoir? No? Okay. That high zinc? Oh, no, it's Rotilla T, dude. Wow, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and cooling. Our sure reservoir. Radiator windshield. Fuse box, steering knuckle. Let's get the radiator in at least. Look at all that. Alright. I need a radiator. Need the basic under hood stuffs. Yeah, that was I didn't see an oil fill for the supercharger when I was looking around earlier. It makes me think there isn't one. And if that's the case, that's like a huge miss. Never know if there's like power brake servos or anything crazy like that in here either. All right. Radiator. Washer reservoir. Even though I never have one in my cars. Brake servo. All right. So we're going to do electronic shop. Oh, it's like the worst thing, dude, is so have you had one in your, um, like, what do you call it? Ducting? I get AC ducting yet? Your heater ducting? Oh, I gotta put relays and crap like that in there too. Son of a. Because this is an important fluid. You need your windshield washer fluid. Make sure that's full. Otherwise... You can't stop at a gas station to wash your windshield, I guess. That's, I don't know, that's what I always do. This, this not just leak out the bottom. There's no hoses attached. There's, there's no, there's no hoses attached, guys. All right. So we can go ahead and I think at this point we can lift the car up. I throw the hood back on. Hood's good. That grill got replaced. Front fender still torched. We don't even have a front fender for that one. No door. And trunk is still aft. All right. See, dude, I, 
being a Pontiac guy, I'm surprised you like Chrome because any Pontiac I've ever looked at has leaked oil. Every one of them. It's just it's just the way. All right, now we can go ahead and start looking at what we need for. Suspension, Let's sway bar, clear all this stuff out. A steering rack. Exhaust pipes, middle muffler, because I've only had some people use, and a rear, two mufflers. Get out of here with that nonsense. Two mufflers, yeah, I don't think so. Need two of those. And click off two of these. Yeah, I made them take a bite a bunch of Chrome stuff for my first uh, Trans Am, and it was not a good time. Did I just buy two of these? I don't know, we're gonna buy two more. Three more, evidently. Um, leaf spring axle, of course, does not. No steering rail. Okay. Okay. Front sway bar. Steering knuckle. I want two of those, I think. Um, steering rack. I need at least one of those and a new rear end because we're making power. See, that was what I was talking about. This, this upper wishbone right here. That's what I was talking about earlier. on the Camaro make it nice and clean yeah I mean the, the, so what you're saying is the Camaro doesn't leak Pontiacs do <laughs> I, I mean that's, that's what I'm hearing from you anyway we'll throw exhaust on while we got it pretty much set up look at all that stainless exhaust Oh, and I've got, so my 91 has got full stainless exhaust on it, and I have really heavily debated on cutting it up and throwing on a, like, Honda Civic style uh, muffler on it, just to see what it sounds like. I mean, strictly just to see what it sounds like. I mean, it's almost got to sound like a straight piped car, right? Like a straight pipe V8. Like, I would imagine somebody out there has done it. But I can't find anybody. Two inner tie rods. Got my axle. Okay, we are moving and a grooving. Bushings, rubber bushings. Doesn't leak yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're gonna buy 12 just to have them. And it's one of those things where like, they work great until they don't. Double wishbone shock absorber. Front wheel hub. Okay. We're making progress. Shock absorber. Do I have fuel tank on my list? I don't think I do. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the shop. And no fuel tank, no suspension stuff. Okay. This game hadn't quite gotten that far yet. With those. $60 for leaf spring, absolutely. Hubs. Need two of those. Gearbox, I probably should look to see if there was a fancy one. I don't think there is, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, actually. Gearbox, there is. There is, there is, there is. Leaf? No, okay. Got kind of a sanity check there to see if my differential could be swapped out. And it can't, so it shan't. Oh, vented disc brakes. Ooh, fancy. There's one thing that, like, working on actual cars has taught me. is always buy extra parts. You're going to need something as soon as you walk away from it. Oh, no, 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 not, not that part. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. My car is way too nice to be throwing that stuff on there. Start from scratch. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I need my disc brakes. I need pads, I'm guessing, then. Two of those. Did I buy leaf springs yet? I did. Zoom in down there. There we go. Small rubber bushings. I did not buy small rubber bushings. I need four. Those, two of those, one of those, two of those. All right. We are inching on getting this car... Running. Two. I need springs for that though, don't I? I think I'm gonna have to compress some springs to throw those springs on. I have those. Fuel tank. I don't think I grabbed that yet. Need two of these. Four small bushings and two rear axle knuckle mounts. Hang that. Hang that one as well. All righty, we are. So close. Get this thing on the test pad. Get the alignment done. Making this thing a freaking car. All right. So that is in. Wow, that is a drive shaft. Okay. Yep, guessing that's what it's going to be. Adds. High rod end. I mean, the game is, is pretty right for the most part like there there really isn't a ton that's like overly wrong but man when it gets it wrong it's it's crazy wrong all right so i guess i need um spring 
maybe? Front spring? Mayhaps, potentially. Two spring plate, I need two of those. I, need, I know that. I need four of those. And at least two spring caps. All right, so we'll head over to the potential death device. Back away from taking time up. Front shock absorber cap. Shock. Two. Okay, that's one built. That is two built. Go ahead and slap those on. Okay. All right. Tab. Need two wheel hubs. Um, cylinder. Need two of those. Um, did I grab a couple of brake caliper cylinders? I'll grab four because I don't know if they're going to be dual piston or not. Grab two of those pads, loops of pads, drive shaft. Need that. Ah, glad I got those calipers. Okay, zoom in. I think we're missing, yeah, wheel bearing in the hub. Bearing, uh, not beating, that's, that's a little different. Um, hub. Not sure, I'm just going to see these ones. Up cap. What? Okay, so we got brakes on. Sweep bar front link is done. Leaf springs are on. We are. Good lord, we're getting close. I want this car done. I want it done. Where's the point of tires on that side? Part mount. All right. All right, let's go to the rear. What kind of wheels and tires? That is the question. I mean, something period correct-ish, right? I mean, like something... Big shoe and okay. I don't want to set these shoes, do I? Ain't nobody want to do that. And drum. And 50s. So I've got center lines or center line knockoffs. 
on the uh, 67 Le Mans. Honestly, dude, I'd love that look. Shoes. All right. So let's go ahead and lower this car down. I think we're... Okay, you know what might help? Look at the drive shaft. Held for review, but why? 10-inch Craggers. I... Dude, I hate Craggers. I get so much flack for it whenever I go to shows. Hate Craggers. I would rather have summit or jegs wheels personally um it's like the uh there's another one too that everybody puts on their freaking gtos they're like five spokes to me look goofy like i'm not a fan but you know to each their own and all that all that good stuff front fender door headlight Trunk, tail lights. Yeah, I don't even know if you can run the cars without mufflers. I don't think I'm gonna run a hood, honestly. I spent all this money on freaking looking decent. I don't see a reason to grab a hood unless it's like something really cool. But I don't think that's gonna be a factor. Body tuning? Oh. Are those, like, you're going to kind of go home to Body Works Station? Okay. All right. Mirrors probably might as well grab all the stuff and things. I need a rear window. That's a hundred percent. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure I'm gonna put a hood on. I'm gonna not buy that. Torque thrusts. That's what they are. Everybody does torque thrusts. Great looking wheel, but literally everybody does them, and I and I can't do it. I love the look of them. They make the car look so freaking clean. But left door. I can't do it on my own car. Um, do I gotta go additional parts maybe? I change out this rear window. No, oh, like that. Oop, no, not that, not that trunk. Not that trunk. Okay, so front fender, front door. So can I sell parts under that percentage? Independence transit. Yeah, this thing is... We are probably gonna keep the American flag. That right side mirror. Need a trunk? Do you have a trunk on here? I do. All right. Kind of like the black taillight, you know, bezels. All right. Now.
Really? Up here in Michigan, it's like everybody's got torque thrust, everybody's got craggers. It's like one of the two. Wheels. What? Oh, these are... Interesting. So these are basically what I have on the Le Mans. Or we have on the Le Mans, I guess I should say. Something like that. I'm not seeing much for anything that's like overly racy. Oh God, um, I want four. What is ET? The width? Do 16 by 10, I think. Ah, hell, I don't know. Tires. I want race tires. Sixteen. I know what size I'm gonna want though. Too is the question. I think this is. <laughs> I think these are what I had. Like this size was what I had on my my Firebird. They look ridiculous. Ah, let me in. Yeah, I think that's about what I had in the Firebird. All right, these are unbalanced. Okay, only if it's on balance wheel. Oh, yep, uh huh. Sevens on the front? Good lord. These are all about that drag life. I did too much like road racing and like course type stuff to, to do that. That's a lot of tire. That's a lot of tire. <laughs> Balance this one now. I want to put these together while I'm doing this. All right, let's get a look at the aesthetic. And we might switch to some smaller front tires. However, that's starting to kind of come along, right? I mean, I'm kind of digging that. Stock car. Yeah, see, I like the stock car look. But like, I'm a third gen guy too, though, so I guess that's kind of, most people would assume that. Oh, you can't just go ahead and throw some tubs in the back? I think it's funny that Haggerty puts you in an entirely different, like, class for insurance if you have mini tubs. Part mount. We are get okay, okay. It didn't go to start a pattern and I don't like it. Oh, you know what I could use is a windshield. Is there a windshield in one of these places? 
Windshield? No, no windshield? Windshield. In door windows. Oh, boys. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we get this car moved over to maybe the garage entrance? Obviously needs paint. We just gotta go through some more fluids in it and all that stuff. But we're looking pretty good. We'll throw some of the brake booster. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, as offset kind of is everything, isn't it? I mean, it does kind of determine a lot of things. That's full. Our status. Uses. Rear bumper. A fuel pump might be beneficial. Okay, so this game does does take some, it's got some stuff. I figured at that point it would just say, cool, good, good luck, go get going. But nope, it's still got more to put on. Okay. Out of that mode. I think there's a fuel pump. I'm not entirely sure. I bought those U-bolts just for these. Doopity doop. Okay. The other side. It's funny things you think about when you're actually building a car and then things like in a game you're just like, all right, come on, let's uh let's get it going. One inch wider than a really? I didn't realize that. I Maybe mean, it looks like it's wider. I always just assumed that was like, you know, body trickery. Well, fuel pump, an electronic fuel pump in a seventy eight. All right. Ooh, is there a performance fuel pump? There it is. Good thing I looked. Our fuse box stuff. Small rubber bushing. Do I have more bushings to put in on these things? Is that what I'm seeing? That one's in. That one's in. Oh, these ones are not in. Okay. The old wide track. Oh, the rear, the actual rear ends. Gotcha. 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 Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't thought about those in such a long. I Mosher, dude. I mean, it's one of the things where just Mosher is like the move, you know. So fuses. Um, a rear bumper. Now let's go ahead and do this. Body work, bandit, rear bumper. Come on off. So 
let's go ahead and clear this list. Boop, boop. Okay. Electro shop. Three type A. Two type B. One type C. E and a C. And a fuse box cover. I'm sure my bows could screw it. Yeah, I switched to a Mosier on the Camaro, and, I, and there, there's just no going back at this point. I don't worry about my rear end in that car. That's the, that's like the nicest thing is I just don't, don't think about it. It's just done. You know, like the car is going to do what it's supposed to do. It's fine. All right, so starter. But also, I was hoping long term for that car to be a very, very high power car. That's why it's got all the, the suspension stuff. It's got a bunch of body reinforcement and. That Mosier and you know subframe connectors and all, just everything that I could possibly grab from the my catalog, basically. So Bandit wheel, Bandit bench, um, interiors, Bandit bench, Bandit wheel. I do you like the original wheels on these? Interior assemble. Itch that crappy wheel for a good one. All right, now I believe we have fluids. Um, I believe we have all of the stuff and things that we need. Hood, don't care. License plate, don't care. This is passenger seat, don't care. All right. Let's do we see if we can get to start. What I'm gonna do is maybe drop this thing all the way. Move you out to the garage or er, entrance, I guess. Let's go. Sounds like a sewing machine. All right. The sounds are so bad in this game. Sweet. All right. I guess at that point, let's go ahead and take it over to take the mufflers off. Can you take them off? Will the car still work? I'd much rather, much rather do that. You know, we'll do. Hold on, let's let's do this for funsies. Let's do this. Let's go. To the dyno. Where's the where's the screen? There's a screen. Run the car on the dyno. Use Russian pipes to make it louder. That's just a that's just a Pontiac trick, isn't it? Well, that's not that's not today's water. That's yesterday's water. Work though. Work. 
436 up, almost a thousand horsepower. Holy foot pounds of torque, though. What is this thing set up for? Good grief. Shit, did it save that from last time? No? Okay, of course it didn't. All right, so let me write this down. Do I not have a pen? One time I don't have a pen, are you kidding me? Use the old mobile device. The old cellular device. Okay. So that is with the mufflers on. 914. Okay. Move back to the lift. Don't drop it this time. Look here. Leave me alone, Janner. I can only be so nimble. All right, so we're going to leave those pipes on because I feel like that's like your collector length. Not that this thing probably actually cares about collector length, but I do. I care about collector length. What? One straight pipe. Look here. America. That's what's happening here. It's like, nah, dude, you, uh, we can't do that here. That's a shame. You can give that a shot. Move car to the dyno. That's obnoxious. I'm going to file a complaint. Seriously, it's a Firebird. We, we never have exhaust in our cars. And if I do have exhaust, it comes off as soon as after it gets checked anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and get this car in. Uh, is it test path? I think is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Test path. Later test it. Yeah, we're going to do a couple more tests of this car. I'm going to head to bed myself. I got to work in the morning. Get everything set up, and then we will do some racing with it next time. Yeah, I feel like I need some rusted pipes specifically just to have for this. Like, just to make them louder. Okay, okay. Why are you shaking my car so hard? Leave car. Wow, rude. All right. Uh, wheel alignment. We'll get one here. Okay. Typically, I would do this with just, you know, a piece of string. Okay, I think that is Gucci headlight alignment. Wow, oh, they, they... They, uh, they do a lot. 
or a little, evidently. Like, there's no in-between. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and head on over to paint. So is there like a livery thing? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah, I think that's I think that's the way, huh? We'll do maybe a base coat of white. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Dig it. I dig it. I hate this something that actually would draft. So the Camaro is getting a headliner, American flag headliner, by the way. Um, I got the parts in. We can do that during the cold season here. All right. Now, I think that's all the testing that we can do. So let's head back to the main shop. and make a pass on the drag strip with it. Cool it missing, yikes. That was a mistake. And I ran out of dyno with no coolant? What the heck? It's funny things that you do in real life that you just don't think about. Like, I mean, you just throw coolant in. Like, it's just something you do. Yeah, right? Need mufflers, but coolant, that's where I draw the line. There's no overflow either? All right, okay. Yep, all about that immersion, bro. But now, what now? What's gonna yell at me about? These tires are so much bigger than stock. Oh my goodness! All right, let's uh make a test hit. Against a uh, freaking what, what? What's in my class even at this point? Oh no! I may have overbuilt my car. I may have overbuilt my car. Race. We'll see how this goes. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Oh, this thing looks good, though. Oh, he's gone. Absolutely gone. Eleven twenty-two, huh? I was like, my reaction time wasn't bad either. So, so a thousand horsepower, it's like nine hundred horsepower, gets you down the elevens, huh? That's am I just spinning like crazy? My sixty foot. Oh yeah, my sixty foot's atrocious. Uh, I don't know if they're stickier tires either. Wait. 
This isn't my car. Oh, it must be a preset class thing. Yeah, like 60 foot. Why is 60 foot so slow? Like, I feel like I should be one, two, one, three, you know, something like that. Oh, uh, red lighted. Good grief. six yeah so i guess next week what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with these this car a little bit try and get it tuned try to get everything dialed in um and go from there but guys i think for now i'm gonna go ahead and get to bed thank you for hanging out all night guys really it, it means a lot um we're gonna do this more often janitor was nice enough to send over a wheel um so we're gonna be doing some other more different racing games as well um on Wednesdays, going to give us something to talk about, give us something to play, um, let's just kind of stretch stuff out and kind of hang out a little bit longer. So next week, we're going to play probably a set of Corsa, which is a driving, a driving sim. Um, I've been working on setting up car models, I'm setting up a new couple of things on there that I haven't really seen on there, so should be a real good time, guys. But I am going to head on out of here and get to sleep. I got to work in the morning, so I will bug you guys probably Friday in a video. I'll see you guys around.